What have we done to you? Since your birth in 1804, you've seen only hate, destruction, and revenge. You didn't want to die. We Haitians didn't want you to die. On February 7th last year, you started kicking. You said, that's enough. Let me live. We wanted a new Haiti. What we got was a Haiti on the verge of civil war, a Haiti considered like a garbage dump. February 7th, what have you given us? Democracy and freedom or the illusion of liberty? Freedom of February 7th. Do you really exist or are you just a dream? Duvalier came to power in 57. He said his government was of the people and for the people. But whoever disagreed with him was thrown out of the country, jailed or eliminated. He made himself president for life. For 15 years, he remained an absolute dictator and everyone hated him. He created the Tantamakut Corps, which were a bunch of criminals. He gave them so much power that everybody had to be scared. And you couldn't do anything about anything. When Papa Doc died, Jean-Claude took over as president for life. He was just 19 years old. A society playgirl named Michelle Binet chased baby Doc and got him to marry her. Michelle acted like a superstar. She threw lavish parties for her rich friends, showing off her diamonds and jewels and furs in everybody's face, wherever she went. She thought she was a princess, and Haiti became her toy. In 1985, the Haitian people rebelled against 29 years of Duvalier dictatorship, and we took to the streets to say, no more dictatorships, no more misery, no more makouts. On February 7th, 1986, Baby Doc and his henchmen panicked and ran away from Haiti with millions and millions of dollars. Many people were killed by the Makuts, but when those Makuts bullets ran out, people took revenge with machetes, rocks, anything. 
This was the start of Deshukar, the uprooting of the Makuts. Baby Doc left, but he left us with something else, and that is the CNG. And the CNG, as we know it, is exactly the child of the Duvali regime. We've got a new constitution, they say we've got freedom of speech, and they've promised free elections for later on this year. But nobody in Haiti knows what's gonna happen next. A lot of people really believe that the elections will happen, but the military are still running things, and a lot of people are scared that when the time comes, they might not let go of their power. Anyone can see, even when my great-great-grandfather was young, they were already fighting for a revolution to see if they could change the situation. Presidents come and presidents go, but things still stay the same. Ambition for power only makes them blind, and sometimes they forget what's on their mind. And anyone who can express themselves in French thinks that they can be the new president. We're fighting among ourselves to weaken the strength of our nation to make 1804 look like an accident. Like I said before, the problem is of the masses. Only the masses can solve it. The city dogs don't howl the same way as country dogs. All these candidates won't solve these problems. Only the masses can. Since 1804, some of them will speak French and mix it with Creole. Many things could be done. We are facing so many problems. Bad water gives us so many diseases. So many things could change. Our life is so bad. That's why we want democracy. What we don't like is when someone becomes president, you can't get near them. People push you, policemen shove you. When someone becomes president, we should be able to talk to them. Hunger is killing us. Misery is killing us. All around us, our trees have died. 
We need a government that will give us peace. We need peace so that we can work. As soon as they become president, we don't see them anymore. They get big foreign guard dogs to bite us and keep us away. Religion, the African religion, brought to Haiti on the slave ships with our ancestors by Christian Europeans. In Voodoo, these people they have a way of life. It's more than a religious factor. It's a way of life, a way of thinking, and that's why. Everybody in this country, even they are Catholic or Protestant, whatever religion they're into, they still thank voodoo. I am a Haitian, born with body, soul, and African spirit. Ogun, by his power, gave me responsibility to love, respect, enjoy all that I can see and that I cannot see on this earth. Under your control, Ogun, Master of earth, master of water, master of fire, master of wind. It's by your grace that we, the people, have our own power on earth. And that is what life is. And by the powers of Antibonica, all the powers enter us and guide us so that our souls become one with voodoo. And we can, we can continue the work of Africa in peace and the people need to exchange the products and the exchange of the product has to be done on the market. By starting from Voodoo, Abuja is able to help people learn to read, write and even learn the realities of the marketplace in a way that is in harmony with their way of life. <laughs> It is good that I have my own trade, that I can work at my trade, but there is no work to be found anywhere. People ripping off the country. Everybody's stealing. Children, adults. The country is going down to drain. There's nothing. Nothing is happening. Everybody is suffering. Everybody. Things are no good. Children can't go to school. They can't eat. They have no shoes. You cannot even clothe the children. I have big problems. L'âme est vivant et immortel. L'homme n'est rien que poussière. Haïti est un petit pays, mais qui est un grand pays. Haïti, c'est un pays, c'est un accord de yon. Un temps, elle est tout petit, un temps, elle est très grand.
pas problème paysan gain li pa gain pièce ti autosuffisance we peasants have a small portion of land and we depend on it to take care of all our problems to send our children to school to pay for medical care to buy clothes now we're faced with disaster cheap american rice smuggled illegally from miami has killed the market for the haitian rice farmer destroying their lives the government knows what's going on and does nothing to stop it farmers have died trying to stop this rice from coming in last week Makuts dressed as soldiers opened fire on a group of farmers who put up a roadblock near here. This proves that American rice has more value to the government than the lives of farmers. And yesterday, a peasant innocently working in the fields was shot. Again, this proves that Miami rice is worth more to the authorities than the lives of farmers. For 29 years, the Duvalier would have killed us for a meeting like this, because they knew that once we put our heads together and organize, we shall be strong enough to recreate the independence of 1804. So, Que a passé mes souli Ça que fait me par ici Tant qu'on compte mimi Bad gain bon professeur qui pou te montrer me couler qui pou te cap fait moi clair Dis en vérité ak d'indépendance nou enterré Et c'est ça qui fait nous dans la vie n'a demandé Si Haïti pa forêt ou joine toute bête la dan Ou joine lion ou joine tigre Ou jouen chat ou jouen rat Ou jouen même léopard Dis l'on fait ça ma peau Parce que c'est ma coutou qu'on prend nous caca pour nous Ou râle ou zi ou la Mouen relax ou 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 râle baton gaillac la Mouen bigoul sou ou C'est vrai ton aime l'on fait ça ma peau Parce que c'est ma coutou qu'on prend nous caca pour nous Ou rale ou zi ou la, mwen relax sou ou, ou rale ba ton gayak la, mwen bi koul sou ou ton ekraze Michel Benet, I am sorry for you, se lan videyo wanga de pepa isyen, ou voye papa ou, al achte twa bon, ou vin bomba de la jenes an Haiti ki deklare ke de chou kare la poko fini, konsek gouvenman chaje ton ton makout, Que des choux car il a pas qu'on finit Conseil gouvernement qui régale à la donne Que des choux car il a pas qu'on finit Deshoukage is a Haitian word that means that you know when you have a tree and you take out that tree you know with all the roots which means that you know you take all the roots so it cannot you know um grow up again These people they thought they had in their mind that you know the way that this country would be better is for them to uproot the Duvalier's regime. That would be the right idea, but that wasn't what was done. It wasn't done, really. They didn't uproot the regime. They just cut off the head, that's it. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
même mal voir qui bol de maïs qui passer dans les heures. Ah ouais 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 soldats qui voulaient tirer là de ces parages là il y avait beaucoup de personnes il y avait surtout des enfants qui participent à la manifestation il est intervenu entre le gendarme il a ouvert les bras pour que ce monsieur ne tire pas là bas et puis à partir de ça le gendarme excité les miliciens aussi lui ont tiré une balle au bras droit et après il est tombé derrière ce tajou pas là et puis on l'a donné une seconde balle à la poitrine
The life of everybody is in your hands, God. The life and the death. Today, we are praying to you for our friends who were killed by the Makuts. And we say, never again will we allow our people to be tortured and murdered by tyrants. Dans la rue d'homme, dit la sousso m'a parlé. À moi, dans la rue d'homme, et toi le filet. Dans la rue d'homme, dit la sousso m'a parlé. Mais pour qu'on arrive, je me tourne à l'endroit, je me demande à vraiment. Pour qu'on arrive là, je me dis au dos. Pour qu'on arrive là, il y aurait les vaudos. Au dos, on brasse à lui de la pomme. It's like some a prisoner, I don't know, that you put in a dark cell for so long and then suddenly you put him out in the sun. You tell him, look, walk. You know, it's very difficult for him to walk because he has never known how to walk. He has never seen the light. So I figured that this country is the same. It's been uh, traumatized for so long. Now it's, it's exploding. <laughs> Music can bring power to the Haitian culture. A lot of Haitians don't appreciate their culture. A lot of people have been trying to degrade the culture because of voodoo. They've tried to create doubts by brainwashing us into believing that voodoo is evil and uncivilized. 
but by honoring voodoo through music, we can kill those doubts and be proud of our true culture. Zombies, human sacrifices. That stuff has as little to do with voodoo as that Hollywood movie, The Exorcist, has to do with Christianity. What is voodoo really about? Being good to your neighbors. Paying respect to God and all the gods. It's about seeing man as an element of nature that all of nature is equally important and should live in harmony. coming to get the water because you get the water and difficult to get the water because uh, each house doesn't have a water In 1975, my life took a different turn when I went to study in Canada. I came back to Haiti and joined a Canadian Catholic order. 
but also started to work with the very poor, poor people of the country. In 1985, the church asked me to choose between the monastery and my work with the poor people. I made my choice. I decided to work with the poor people and I decided to leave the monastery so I could concentrate with the people who really need me and need my services and my work. That's why I decided to create the school of the carpentry. The Catholic Church has always been incredibly powerful in Haiti, but it's always backed whoever has been in power. For most of the Duvalier years, it was right behind the regime. Then things changed. The Pope came and criticized the repression. Priests like Pierre Aristide started to stir things up. The Catholic Radio Soleil blasted the Duvaliers and the church became a force for the people. I want to go to the USA because I know it's good there. I know that's where life is. For me, to stay in Haiti, never. I would like to learn a profession. I would like to be a meteorologist so I can study nature, time. In Haiti, there's nothing like that. And to USA, I can learn something. After one month, two months, I hope to go to the USA. Let's talk to Mano. Let's give him a warm welcome. We know that everyone is eager to hear him. And we have to let you know that Mano's home was broken into by soldiers and searched last night. He's performing tonight at Congo Plage. Hope you all be there. Over to you, Mano. I'm always pleased to sing in Jacques Mel. I always enjoy playing in Jacques Mel. I played here in 1978 and again last year when I returned from my exile. I'm aware of the determination of the youth of Jacques Mel to help the country and Port-au-Prince move forward. Don't 
Here we have the Haitian people, you know, with the army, the church, peasants, you know, professional, all kind of people. They're going uh, toward that road that is supposed to lead to democracy. And here we have uh, coming soon the referendum of the, of the new constitution of the country. And the people are learning about democracy and they don't really know, you know, which way to go. What is, they don't even know what is really democracy, you know. And this is something that we have to learn about. The meaning of the vote is that this nation hasn't been participating in the electoral process. So we are here to participate. We are here to say that we need change in this country. And we are here to also say we are controlling the change. This is the first time I'm voting. And God has shown me something very nice because we used to get beaten for speaking up about anything. And I hope this ends the same way it started, with love, so that we can all have our rights. I would like to see more women involved in politics because we are ready and we are women and we are all ready. So therefore, I, I suggest that uh, all of us Haitian women come out uh, in the great masses to stand for our country because we are here and we want to do things for our children. Some folks would tell you they're not going to vote because uh, it means nothing to them. Voting, uh, not, they, they don't have the concept what it means to vote, uh, what power that they, they hold. I'm very proud today because I feel that if I stayed home today, I would be indifferent. Even if I don't vote for president, voting for the constitution is a must. And if they do it again tomorrow, we will all be here. Soldiers should not sit and listen to a general or colonel who makes them act like puppets. That hurts me very much because today is the first time I'm voting. I'm able to vote. I think the army should put their heads together with the people so they can stop this kind of bad hardship that's going on here. My dream for Haiti would be that, you know, um, first, every Haitian exactly see themselves as a free man first, from a free country second, and third, that they have the right to do whatever they feel like they have to do, but without stepping their foot over anybody's head or over anybody's neck, without exploiting somebody else. Thank you.
Un bien du refroid Mettre la trame et brinco Un continué gourmet Pour une très belle chance pour y rêver Mais de moi tape 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 Qui se tient bon sur les levées Final posé Sous tête un palais national là Avec un message Liberté écrit sous elle Qui est mon sépare A zèle se passe les couchers A profiler Pour elle sous ses remis et ses là Moi en groupe jeune Qui est bien sépare 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 Chez mes victoires, les longues, ils peuvent y appliquer Mais ça peut être pour ne pas être dur à voir Pédre la tombe et le franco, on continue à gommer Pour une belle chance pour les rêver Les moteurs qui sortent de nos pays, l'autre pot de l'eau Une pot de presse, ils commencent à faire des gars Y ont tout rien d'or, qu'un bill cassé tout de conni. Immédiatement, moi ouais y ont mis des longs combats. Ils m'ont séqué, qu'un fou filé un barame. Sous Washington, vin mouillé ne rate pas de presse. Des blacks et bill, si mes gaz mis du feu solide. Ils m'ont étalé, même quand elle a déjà chanté. Je me vis toi les longs, il va faire un bigot, mais ça va être pour ne pas dire la voix. Et la tombe est branco, on continue à gommer, pour une belle chance pour les lever. Je me vis toi les longs, il va faire un bigot, mais ça va être pour ne pas dire la voix. Pète la tombe et pour un coup A nous continuer et gommer Pour une belle chance pour les rêver Non, moi, Ernst Mali My name is Ernst Mali Pour M. Zaro Moi, j'ai fait lui deux temps It took me two days to make this car Deux jours la donne Mais j'ai fait lui pour M. Zaro I enjoy making these cars very much if I were president, I would get everybody a job and free school for everybody. Saint-Jacques, ma jéoué, au bon achaté. Au Saint-Jacques, ma jéloi, au bon achaté, oui. Achaté beaucoup, achaté les mains là. L'en arrivé là, ça qu'a pressé, quoi non là. Saint-Jacques, ma jéoué, au bon achaté, oui. Au Saint-Jacques, ma jéloi, au bon achaté. Achaté les mains, achaté beaucoup. L'en arrivé là, ça qu'a brûlé, voilà non. Arrivant Saint-Jacques, la plaine du Nobel, au canaillé. Au canaillé, canaillé. Arrivant Saint-Jacques, la plaine du Nobel, la canaille, la plaine du Nobel, la canaille. Arrivant Saint-Jacques, la plaine du Nobel, la canaille. Arrivant Saint-Jacques, la plaine du Nobel, au canaille, au canaille, canaille. Arrivant Saint-Jacques, la plaine du Nobel, la canaille. La plaine du Nobel, on a canaillé. Saint-Jacques, moi j'ai un fait à ou bien fêté, canaillé. Saint-Jacques, moi des règlements, on a canaillé. 
mes amis, Saint-Jacques, moi j'ai bien fêté, beau canaille, Saint-Jacques, moi des règlements, n'a pas canaille.